As mentioned in an earlier lesson, logic is composed of terms, propositions, and syllogisms. In this lesson, we will be talking about propositions and the parts of which they are made. Simply speaking, a proposition can be thought of as a sentence that is either true or false. There are three parts to every proposition. The first is the subject. It's what the sentence is about or the things to which a property is being ascribed in the proposition. Second is the predicate, the property which is being ascribed to the subject in the proposition. Third is the copula, the linking verb which does the job of ascribing the predicate to the subject. Generally speaking, this will take some form of the verb to be in English. However, strictly speaking, this isn't always the case. Here's some examples. Take the proposition, all trees are tall. This is a proposition because it can either be true or false. It is true if there aren't any trees that aren't tall, and it is false if at least one tree exists that isn't tall. It should be noted that two sentences could turn out to express the same proposition while taking different surface forms, i.e. different words could be used to express the same underlying idea. For example, take these two assertions. First, there are leafless trees, and two, not all trees have leaves. Looking at these two assertions, we can see that they both possess the same proposition. Namely, they both represent the proposition, some trees are leafless. In conclusion, the notion of the proposition is one of the most important concepts in Aristotelian logic. In this lesson, we discuss the three parts of any proposition, the subject, the predicate, and copula. We also discussed various forms that the copula may take, as well as the ways in which the same sentence can manifest itself in different propositions. In further lessons, we'll continue to discuss propositions, the forms they may take, the way in which they express certain ideas, and how different propositions relate to each other.